Okay, today what we have on the bench is a Yezu FT-1000 MP Mark V. The person that wants me to repair this um, is, was complaining that the receiver has gone somewhat deaf. And um, I'm trying to confirm this here on the bench and uh, taking a look at the attenuator and uh, the IPO, all the front end stuff, uh, controls for the front on the front of the uh, actual radio. And I got it uh, tuned in on 40 meters here, and I'm just listening to a, a noise signal. And as you can see, I only get a little less than 1S units of noise. And here's the funny thing. When you turn the attenuator down to 6dB, 12dB, and 18dB, this signal should slowly fade lower. And what's happening is it's actually missing at 6dB, and it's there at 12 very faintly though, and missing at 6. It's also missing at 18, mine, um, 18 dB. So I think something's going on there. Um, so we'll have to look into that circuit. Uh, also, I have it my FT2000 um, on here on the same frequency, and I'm going to turn the antenna switch on to this radio. And as you can see, this radio is putting out maybe 4S units, or I'm receiving 4S units compared to over the half to 1S unit on the uh, Mark 5. Um, so something is going on here. We're going to crack it open and we're going to see what's going on. I'm going to do a little bit more further testing with the controls in the front to make sure there's no settings wrong. I don't believe it is, but um, we'll see what we can find. Okay, so I got this FT-1000 MP Mark V open, and let me tell you, it's not a very simple task to open this uh, radio, as you can tell. There's all sorts of different fan components, um, different RF boards, IF boards, tuner section, uh, power amplifier section. As long as you take your time and you mark everything out, you should be able to get this apart, uh, no problem. I've traced, I've got uh, my... Um, service manual on, on uh, two screens here. I actually have the description, the circuit description uh, on this side, how the um, um, main receive circuitry works and I have the board layout um, on this page and schematic. And um, what I've traced down is the attenuator circuit. If you read here it says it passes through um, relay Da, 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 through the relay 651 6451 and fed through the connector blah 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 the receive signal passes to the RX antenna and to relay 1003 and blah 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 tells you right here which uh, the attenuator consists of a 6 dB 12 dB and 8 dB when combined consist of um, resistors 1051 through 1054 which I checked are okay and relays 1003 and relays 1004. So I've got this board out and I've checked on top here. This is 10, let's see if I can get a good shot in here. This is relay 1003, and this is relay 1004. Um, did I say that right? Yeah, yeah, I think so. So I checked everything out with those two resistors and I found that once I flopped the board over, I wanted to check these two um, relays. I flopped the board over, and I found something interesting. Let's see if I can find it again. It's right here. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. I don't have my macro lens on, but uh, as you can see, that is a burnt resistor right there so we're gonna have to see what uh, what part that is on the um, schematic and find out what it does it looks like from what I can tell it may control the relay um, so the relay one of the relays may not be firing correctly um, I'm not sure I'm gonna look at the schematic I'll be back all right, I got the schematic here, and I've traced out uh, relay 1003, and that is that relay right here. That relay right here. And if you look closely, this is part of the attenuation relays. 
uh, 1003 and 1004. If you look right here, that's R151. That is that burnt resistor. It goes between one of the normally closed or open contacts to common, and it goes out into other stuff. So I'm going to guess that that 47 ohm resistor there it may be part of why we have loss of uh, 6 and 18 dB of attenuation. So I'm going to replace that resistor and check the relay and see what happens from there. All right, I've got my macro lens on to get a close-up shot of the failure. As you can see, it's burnt up pretty good. Well, these things are really tiny. There we go. As you back off here, you can actually see how small these components really are compared to your fingernail. Um, so we're going to go ahead and change that out and see what we get. Alright, I've got it somewhat back together. I've got the uh, speaker hooked back up and I replaced that resistor on that, on that uh, RF board. So we're going to fire it up and see, see what happens. Try the attenuator. It seems to be working properly now. Okay, so it seems like I got the attenuator working. Uh, it works in all uh, all four steps here: zero, six, uh, twelve, and eighteen. Um, the only thing that hasn't changed is the quiet receive. And after looking at the way the attenuator failed, it almost seems like I had some kind of RF feedback into this radio, whether it's been from another radio or uh, some other piece of equipment. So I decided to, I checked the IF stage, uh, the amplifier stage, and all the transistors seemed good in that circuit on the RF board. Now, the only thought, everything, the signal then, well, the signal comes in from the, from this, uh, uh, the tuna section, uh, and injects the signal down through this green cable, I believe. So I started to look at the tuna, uh, the tuner module here. And I'll show you what I noticed down on the corner here, near the RF connector. We got some barbecue down here, so you can see that. So I'm going to have to dig up the schematic for the tuna section and find out what those parts were and see if I can come up with a solution here. So hopefully if I just replace these parts that fried over here and uh, maybe I'll get the receive back but as for the attenuator circuit that seems to be working fairly well if not um, perfect so we'll uh, see what happens all right so I think we've had a chain reaction chain reaction of issues here that green cable that went down to the RF board comes into the tuna section and connects right about here now the the circuitry in this corner was uh, pretty burnt up, so I've had to um, put some com uh, standard components, some capacitors, and more a little bit more robust. Um, and it seemed like it actually worked. Uh, the receive came back pretty good, and um, it, it was definitely a lot better than it was. But I was having some issues when coming back from transmit back down to receive and it was kind of a little scratchy and inter intermittent. So I went back to the schematic here and I found that the RF RX out 
goes to goes up here and goes through these two capacitors. Now these are the capacitors that were failed. So I change these two caps and this is the signal comes up and goes into this relay right here. Now these contacts are relaxed on receive and energized on transmit. So I took the relay out which was a real pain to get out of this board here and take a look here if you can see this let's see if I can get better light but you'll notice that see the contact there on the left let me get some this here. Contact here on the left is a little bent down more than the right side. They're not perfectly flat sitting on there. It could have been due to heat. Now, if you pull this back, contact here, oh, it's kind of hard to do this in film at the same time. You can tell there's a little bit of some burning going on in there on the contact. So I'm going to clean these up and try and bend them back and see if that helps any. So we'll see what happens after I clean this up. Let's see if we can get a better angle at this contact. See it's all glazed over and definitely seeing some heat. So I'm going to clean them up, put it back in, and see what happens. Okay, so here's what I got. Um, I took out those relays. I took out this uh, this relay here and that relay here. I took this one apart. I showed you that the relay contacts were a little little funky, so I cleaned those up. That's not the one I'm worried about. I'm actually worried about this relay here. It's actually a sealed reed switch relay, which means it's in a vacuum tube and this right here, J, this cable right here, J6454, that's where it gets inserted onto the RF board, and that's where the signal from the jack to through the tuner comes down and in, into the uh, receiver section amplifier. And the problem is here, I don't believe that this relay is functioning properly because I, I took it out and I realized that it was a non-serviceable relay and so I put it back in and still no luck with it. It kind of was just um, silent again. So I've just been chasing my tail for a little bit. So what I decided to do is I decided to jump this relay out. That's all I did was I jumped from here to here just to make sure this is the problem. So I can insert my signal onto the receiver. Now I don't want to go and transmit though because there's obviously a reason why this relay is here. Um, probably breaks open when you're in transmit. So this is maybe the reason why the attenuator failed because it may have inserted the, the RF down onto the receiver signal. So here's what I got here. So far. I got received, but the, the thing is, I actually jumped out the relay. I have a little piece of um, wire I've actually jumped over the relay. So, just to temporarily make sure it works before I go spending money and ordering parts. So, hopefully I will have parts soon, so I will update you in a further uh, future video. Okay, so I've confirmed that the relay is bad. I've actually taken it apart. I actually did a continuity check with it on the bench with the um, when it was all together, and I applied a voltage to it and I measured across the um, normally open leads, and there was nothing. And I took the power away, measured it again, still nothing. So this relay was bad. So I decided to investigate a little bit more and take it apart. And when I unsoldered one side of it, which was attached. Uh, attached to this post 
it uh, it just slid right out. It was actually fractured. The glass tube was actually broken. So this thing must have taken a hit or just uh, something. So I actually get it right here. There's one side of the contact. And what happens is this tube actually has another probe on the other side that goes into this glass tube. And these two um, contacts meet each other in the middle. And what happens is when you apply a field around the tube, which is the coil, it actually causes the contacts to close. They're, they're magnetic contacts. So what was happening was you're applying a field on the, the relay and the contacts weren't closing or they were welded closed or something and I believe RF feedback got back into the receiver and blew the attenuator circuit out so I'm going to find out what I can do about a replacement hopefully they're still available if not I'll probably have to try and retrofit something so there you go hopefully that should be the receive issue um, other than a lot of parts that had burnt up in the circuit which I am still modifying and trying to find replacements for those. Um, I've actually tested the, I've got wires on the, the relay power and um, I have it hooked up to my multimeter and when I was, um, had the radio running I had my 13 volts and when I clicked the transmit on the microphone the uh, voltage disappeared so I know the signal to the relay is good so that that's a plus so hopefully I just should be able to drop in a relay and this thing will be ready to rock again minus uh, I gotta do a little work in the corner here